<sighs> Man, there's no, no wrestling cool. this weekend. All, all these weekends, no wrestling going on. Yeah, I'll admit it's it's tough to it's tough to think of stuff to talk about. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm getting kind of sleepy. Me too. I'm just taking All a right, nap. Let's not nap. Oh, guys. I'm gonna take a nap. Welcome to TFS Final Wednesday. Welcome to so much. Catch you twenty four seven with that. Rick Hahn. And that's the one man band. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, folks, from the highest mountain to the lowest valley and everywhere in between. We are the beasts of the East, the best in the West. You are listening to TFS Pod, your girlfriend and uh, your dog's favorite show. In this episode, we will be talking about fantasy. Yes, fantasy. With the hottest wrestlers, women. But no, the other type of fantasy is also fantasy booking. <laughs> yes, for those who don't know, that was that was the the, the, the considered topic. We just do a ranking system, kind of like a, a bracket system. I still haven't given up on the idea, but not not this episode. Uh, you we'll know, probably do a little fun thing. You for know, the chat. Uh, okay, okay. I I have not given up on the idea either. I just think it needs a little more <laughs> visuals. But yeah, but we, we we can work it out. You guys have an imagination, right? You guys listening? <laughs> So yeah, uh, so yeah, it, it, it could work out in a future episode. I, I I think so. But in this one, we're going to talk about fantasy booking. Let's see where stuff is at right now and where we see it at the end of the year. No, because, fan, that's not what we mean. That's not that's predictions. We're talking fantasy. How we want to book it? Oh if we oh could. oh! I read it wrong. You see? Look at that. All righty, yeah, dude. Nobody, nobody. If you're going to go with predictions, you know you, your prediction would be I predict that. Maybe one day I might meet Dana Brooke. But your fantasy is maybe one day I'll meet Dana Brooke, Mandy Rose, and they'll happen to want to stay at my house for the night. <laughs> That's a fantasy. <laughs> That's the fantasy, yeah. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. All right, so let, let's look at it then how it is now. We'll, we'll do it we'll do it with what? With three promotions? Okay, yeah, we'll promotions. do all three promotions. Uh, I don't know if anybody wants to do a promotion in particular. I, I could do all three if I want. Um, but yeah, we could do we could do all three promotions. Go around the table. I mean, we could start off with the the. What, what do you want to do, Lou? Which one? You know, you know the three. We could do Impact. We could do AEW. Uh, WWE. 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 I, WWE. I know we've been down for a while, but I love it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We could do it. A. WWE, the start of the fantasies. All right, Lou, what, where do you fantasize about WWE? What do I fantasize about WWE? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you if you if you had to fantasy book the remaining the remaining quarter to third of a year left, uh, what for WWE? What would you do? What what kind of major storylines would you be working? I, okay, I want a fantasy book splitting up the championship. This unification thing sounds kind of stupid when you have two shows. Yeah. Okay, all right. This unification thing sounds nice for for one for one pay per view event. You know, from a WrestleMania to a SummerSlam kind of a deal, from one to the other. But after that, it just sounds stupid when you have to put a, a show every week, and you only have one champion walking around. So yeah, my fantasy would be that the current champion loses one of them. Actually, you know what? Have him lose both. That's my fantasy, that he would lose both. I would be so happy ending that bloodline storyline because they haven't added one more figure to that, a female uh, women's champion. They haven't added it, so I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm going to say you break it up and have two separate champions, and I'm going to go even further. I'll give you my fantasy booking for Raw would be, oh, man. Well, I know, I know that I know for SmackDown it'll be McIntyre. I'm gonna go with McIntyre for the champ for SmackDown. Hot commodity there, and maybe, you know what? For Raw, I go with Seth Rollins. Yeah, I'll go with Seth Rollins for that. I want I want to see him win the championship again. That's my fantasy uh, kind of a deal where I would like Your to. Your fan, see. okay. Is that working? So your out? fantasy is Reigns. Reigns loses both titles. Yep. 
Oh boy. When when do, what's the timeline you have in mind for this? I, I don't know. I don't have. I don't know. Uh, I, okay, how about this one? I would love to see this as a matchup where he puts up both belts up at the same time and and uh, not like in a triple threat kind of a way where he has to fight. Oh, I don't, okay, no, no, hold on. Let me, let, me make, let me make this match even better, even crazier. He has to fight one, then he has to fight the other one at, at the same time. I mean, one one match and then the second match. If he wins the first one, he, he retains that one. If he if he wins the second one, he retains both. Fine, but I don't want him to win mm-hmm. both. So just the Becky Lynch the Becky Lynch uh, title defense from when she was Becky two belts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. She had to defend against Lacey Evans and then Charlotte Flair in succession. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Well, all right. So now let's go to you. Who do you have? All, all right. right, all right. So, so let's let's address let's address how WWE sets up their their championships right now. So, according to WWE, they still consider the title reign separate. Reigns has held the WWE Championship as of this recording for 144 days, and he has held the Universal Championship for 725 days, Ooh. which means he's getting close to in five days he's going to hit the uh, two year mark. That's right. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He got it on August 30th of 2020. It has been nearly two years since Reigns won the Universal title. With that said, we know he's defending the title at Clash of the uh, Castle in early September. And as we all know, Survivor Series is normally brand versus brand, and they do like champion versus champion. Reigns can't fight himself at Survivor Series. I didn't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there would be somebody. <laughs> you don't want to see that match, Lou. You don't want to see uh, that match. Kane versus Kane was a bust. Undertaker versus Undertaker was a bust. Uh, by <laughs> by comparison, you know, it, it's just not a headline material match, apparently. All right, all right. But essentially, I would say you want to go with Drew McIntyre taking the title off of Reigns at clash of the castle which title obviously you would have it be the so mcintyre's on smackdown um it has to be the universal title okay. so he ends reign's longest title reign and then just for the sake of messing around with everybody you're gonna have austin theory run out <laughs> Ooh. And get that Claymore ki- and get Claymore kicked in the face because he doesn't cash in that night. <laughs> but but we move <laughs> on. We move on to the following pay per view, which would be the October pay per view, whatever it is, which would be McIntyre versus Reigns in a rematch with Reigns trying to win the the WWE Championship. He does not. I mean the the Universal Title. He does not have his WWE Championship up for grabs, and he fails to retake it. And as McIntyre leaves Reigns in the ring, and Reigns is like, you know, he's been beaten twice. Maybe you up the ante and make the match. Uh, trying to think of a match they haven't had before. Uh, but for some reason, I keep going to, yeah, have him have a Hell in a Cell match, but whatever. You have him do some match. McIntyre wins against all odds. He leaves. As he's leaving, Austin Theory comes out, and he's not going to cash in on McIntyre this time. He's going to cash in on Reigns, and he cashes in on Reigns and wins. So Reigns loses both titles, and then you have champion versus champion, Austin Theory versus Drew McIntyre at Survivor Series. Not that great of a headliner. However, you would have the bloodline go up against, well, who would we have on the roster that could you know, form a faction and they have to be faces. Well, Edge never did get his win over Reigns. So have Edge build up his own stable to go up yeah. against the bloodline. And I would have guess uh, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. That'd be cool. With Ooh. Edge, the Mysterios, uh, who else would be for the bloodline or against the bloodline specifically? 
Edge is Edge counters Reigns, so you have to have somebody counter the Usos. And the only people that come to mind are Matt Riddle, or Riddle as he's known, and a returning Randy Orton. Ooh. In a 5v5 traditional Survivor Series match that headlines the show. Yeah, all right. And then the only other thing that I would say is, in terms of the women's title, uh, Liv Morgan would lose the SmackDown Women's Championship to Alexa Bliss. Only because I want to see Lexi win the title back. And then uh, Alexa Bliss. Uh, but Alexa Bliss would win it in a triple threat, I want to say, with Ronda Rousey in it also. Oh, okay. Um, and in terms of the Raw Women's Championship, you keep Bianca Belair with it, I guess. Um, but for some reason, I keep picturing I keep picturing Bianca versus Charlotte at uh, WrestleMania this year. Uh, this year, next year coming up. All right. All right, and one man band. What, what do you have for WWE? What's your fantasy? Hmm. Booking. Hmm. Right now, I'd like to see. Like, do they have to be active right now, or? Yeah, screw it. This is fantasy. This is fantasy, man. All right. You can have people return from the dead if you want. Uh, in that case, oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Well, okay. Damn it. I was about to say, well, Razor Ramon is coming back. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, man, you know what? Like, I haven't really given this much thought, but I, I'm not gonna lie. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'd like to. I would like to see a proper. Match and I and I say proper because even though like they did have a proper match, it wasn't it wasn't what I would hope for. I would love to see Kurt Angle do his, his return match or like his retirement oh, match. Oh my against gosh! Against oh, John Cena. You took it right out of me. Sorry. Oh my god! The return, the return to Raw this weekend. It was hitting me as you were talking about. I was like, man, you know what would be a good fantasy? Have him get his win back against Baron Corbin, and then immediately fight John Cena. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Like I, I would love that. Like I feel, I feel like they really cheated Kurt Angle out of, out of you know getting that proper, and they could have set it up. I guarantee you, John Cena would have said yes. By the way, what was the point of John Cena coming back and then not having a feud with anybody? I don't know, man. Came back that night, he's like, yeah, special appearance, this and that. And then I guess WWE wanted to give him the Taiwan treatment. No. Oh. By pretending he doesn't exist. The, ti- ah. the Taiwan treatment, there oh my go. god. There we go, I managed to sneak it in there. Yay. But yeah, I think that would be my, that would be mine. Like, I would love to see that, that Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle versus John Cena at WrestleMania. Retire Kurt Angle, but the 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 proper way, you know. Ooh! Oh, I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Here go we for go. it. Go Here for we it. go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's 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 a fantasy booking that I would. So, Alexa Bliss wins the championship in a triple threat from uh, Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey, right? Ronda Rousey going into Survivor Series instead of doing a champion versus champions match. Ronda Rousey attacks Alexa Bliss, and uh, Alexa Bliss. Has has a returning Becky Lynch make the save because she turned face recently, and then Ronda Rousey says, "Well, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna need friends." So you have uh, Shayna Baszler and those two other chicks who used to be in NXT, who were lackeys for Shayna Baszler, come up, the UFC girls. And you've got four versus two. And then you have Sasha Banks make a return. Because oh, Triple H likes to just have returns happen all of a sudden. And then you have Charlotte make a return, which which just gets booze from the crowd. <laughs> but she comes out anyway, shrugs, and says, hey, if, if 
if people if we're all just gonna be making returns, why not? And then Ronda Ronda Rousey's pretty much it's four B it's four B uh five. And then I guess Ronda Rousey just needs one more person. Who's a who's a UFC inspired uh character? Oh I got it. Sonya Deville comes out and said and, and joins Ronda Rousey team and then you got a five v five, four horsewomen and and Alexa Bliss versus Ronda Rousey and the UFC the UFC uh the UFC chicks. Boom. There you go. Wow. I like it. Hastily put together hastily put together, but I'll take it. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. All right, let's go to let's go to AEW. Lou, you go first. I'll go first in this one. Uh, no, actually, you know what? You go first, and then we'll go back around like we do like in the predictions. Okay. Okay. Let me let me do a quick check here. Let's see. Let's see how long your current champion John Moxley. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see how long John Moxley has held the the. Uh, I mean, I wonder how they consider it too. Two he days used to be <laughs> from the recording. Yeah, because he used to be the interim, right? He was the interim. He yeah. Was, so he won it. he so it it's not considered. It's not considered consecutive. But we're gonna. Yeah, one one day held. Two yeah. days now. Okay, fine. John Moxley's champion, and he's currently the leader of the the fight Black club. Pool Com- the Bla- Black Blackpool Pool Combat there Club. Yeah, I call it the Fight Club. I call it the Fight Club. <laughs> yes. The British Fight Club. The, but whatever. The Blackpool Black Black Combat Club. Club. Comprising John Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli, Brian Danielson, and I believe it's... Wheeler oh, Yuta. Wheeler Yuta. Wheeler there Yuta. we go. There we go. All right. I, I wanted to say the Japanese guy, but I wasn't sure. Huh. All right. Four guys. Four guys. Now, we know AEW likes their stadium stampede or chaotic matches. They like their gang warfare stuff. So I say you have somebody go up against this group. And what better what better group than a returning Kenny Omega mm-hmm. alongside Adam Cole alongside Kyle O'Reilly? Mm-hmm. Alongside Bobby Fish, oh, four v four in a t- in a in a I don't know. I guess a winner takes all match. You have you have uh, you gotta have uh, you'd have to have what's it called the Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish win. Uh, Win the trios championship before before the end of the year pay per view, from whoever ends up winning it. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be House of Black. What, right you now? know what? Oh. Screw it. Screw it. Do a four v four v four match. Whoa! Wait, wait, hold on. What is it? Four. There versus we go. Four versus four. Four versus four versus four. Alrighty. Okay. So you have. So you have. Kenny Omega's group, which I named out already, Blackpool Combat Club, and House of Blood with an extra person. <laughs> I'm trying to think who would join last minute, but um, <laughs> oh, 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 no, I can't do it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you a better four v four. Kenny, okay. Kenny Omega's group. You know, oh, you young, young, with, young with, the, bucks. with the elites. Yeah, with, well, he'll yeah, be... but he needs a fourth person. He needs a fourth person. That's I got it. I'm gonna it put. I'm gonna put Adam Cole on it. All right, Adam Cole. I'm gonna put Adam him on Cole. It. Okay. All right, and then I'm, I, I like the I like the Blackpool Combat uh, Club. I'm gonna put them in there. That's four, and the other one's gonna be uh, Jazz, the Jess, the Jericho Jericho of Re- Appreciation Society. They're good with those matches. They love that stuff. So a four, the first ever four v four v four match. Yeah, and you gotta have. Well, I would say have to do winner take all. You know, to to appeal to the Kenny Omega being the belt collector. Yeah, you have the elite. You have the elite. 
I, I don't know. The elite are the are the trios champions. The um, I don't know. I don't know how you would defend those champions and stuff. Who gets what title? Huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like who gets what championship? Oh no! Well, in this case, there's no championship. It's just for for I guess uh, the supreme team or something, whatever. Supreme team. Uh, the supreme team, I guess. I, I, I can see that. Yeah, I, can see that. Because, because I, I feel like winner takes all. I feel like winner takes all stakes would be great though. Because AEW has well, a, has a lot, a lot of like the, the faction stuff. They do a lot of that stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They they like their gang warfare stuff. You know, it's one of those like yeah, I got I need a I need a group. I need henchmen. Mm-hmm. I gotta make friends. Yeah, because by yourself you're you not know, doing anything. NWO versus Wolfpack was a big thing at some point. Yeah, because by you by know, yourself it, you, it, you, you you can't do anything. Yeah, when everybody's making alliances, if you're by yourself, you're screwed. Um, in AEW. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Appa- apparently in the ring and backstage. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <Hey>. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Doing a teaser, doing a teaser to another topic we had considered discussing. <laughs> so yeah, <Where> you, Lou. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know. That, that's one thing I'd, I'd like to see in AEW. And also, I I know that Thunder Rosa is hurt now, and they're gonna have yeah. a, they're gonna have a. a so I'm gonna fantasy book. I'm gonna fantasy book that her injury ends up being minor, and she comes back like a week from now, <laughs> <laughs> and that she has the first ever. Oh, what am I going to say? All right. Think like okay. an elimination chamber match. Uh-huh. But difference. <laughs> I don't know how you would do it. How would it be different? Um, well, all right. Champion so, defends everyone against everyone? Then, uh, like, yeah. Like, it's a, like, a, it's a six person. One? It's a six person. It's a six person. It's a six person chamber match. Or How about we do it five? Five, five woman chamber match. Who are the five women? Britt Baker. Britt Baker, the former champ. Tony Storm, Jade Cargill. Yeah, right. Because why not? Like, why is she not involved in more? I mean, uh, anyway, she's already she's already one champion. She's already cha- uh, won the TBS champion. Yeah. So might as well let's all right let's 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 have her show interest in becoming world women's world champion yep. for AEW. Yep. So that's that's uh, uh, that's three plus plus Thunder Rosa. One more. I don't know, guys. Help me out here. Wh- who would you say, who would you include? Because I'm leaning Tegan Knox just to just to add some some, some, some variety. To add yeah. some figure, I would add Jamie Hader. <laughs> Jamie, I'll take it. Jamie Hader. Okay, fine. Jamie Hader. That's your five way. And in terms of how, oh, there we go. Screw it. Just do a championship scramble in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Do it. Championship scramble in a cage. Call it the collider. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, 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 and you do that for the end of the year. Any thoughts on my band? He's he's in he's in awe at the idea. He's like, wow, that's, that's amazing. He's probably calling Tony Khan right now. <laughs> I know, right? He's like, wait, hold on, guys, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get a phone call. Pretty good. <laughs> Championship scramble. He, he, he's games. in the phone with. He's like, Tony, hold on. They're they're, they're still talking about it. They're, they're they're working it out. Tony, hold on. I'll, I'll give you the end result. <laughs> I'll, I'll call you back in a few minutes. I'll give you the end result okay. of, what, of, what, of what these guys are talking about. There you go. A championship scramble match. So, in case you were wondering. What is that? How would it work? How would it work? At least hit my modified championship scramble match in a cage. Right? <laughs> so, you get the, so, you get the hell in a cell structure. So basically, one cage, one door. You go in and out. Okay. Right? Two people start the match. It's a five-minute five five minute, uh, five minute clock. No, you don't see anybody else out there. So essentially, their entrance is going to hit as soon as it happens. Mm. Five minutes hit, five minutes hit, next competitor comes out. The championship could change hands at any point. However, 
However, it's not permanent until all five competitors have come out for the match. Oh. And then the very next pinfall after the fifth competitor comes out is either either you have to get the first fall to the finish or you have to the champion has to retain it for 20 minutes. Mm. Bam. After the fifth competitor comes out. So it's a 45 minute match. Longest. Ooh. Longest the longest it takes is a 45 minute match. You can play with the 20 minutes, you can make it 15, whatever. Or it goes down to the first fall to finish. And that applies to the champion also. The champion gets a pinfall within those 15 minutes. The match is over. And retains. They retain. Wow. I like it. I do. There you go. I like it too. In a cage. I need a better name, though. I don't like like the collider. Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call. Yeah. Hello? See, espera, 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 espera. Triple A wants to get involved in this. (laughs) <laughs> Triple A <laughs> wants to get involved with this uh, work hard. I think I, I think you have suggestions of names we want to invite in there, right? Uh yeah. I, I'd be more than willing to see. Uh... Damn, you know what? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. That does sound like the Triple A match, just modified in a way. <laughs> just, just modified slightly. Hey, hey, they would do it. Uh, if anyone, I think they would do that. I just gotta think of a. I just I gotta think of a better name than Championship Scramble in a Cage, <laughs> or Collider. Free for all or Collider. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it at some point. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Oh man. Um. Uh. You know what? I don't think we're gonna have enough time to talk about Impact. Well, actually, I, I will say, and I want Tony Storm to win it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Nice. That's my fantasy. I, I don't think we'll have enough time for Impact. And then I wanted to take a Shawn Michaels inspired. Uh, no, nah, I know why you don't say we have enough time for Impact. Why? Because you know what my fantasy is for for how I want them to book their championship. Oh. Well, I still, I still gotta, I still gotta say mine for AEW. So, oh, go, go, right, go for it, go, go for it. So, mine for AEWs are it's a little bit more simpler than than what Rick Hart has, you know. But since we have, since we have, you know, Kenny Omega there. And we also do have the Forbidden Door has finally been opened. Here we go. Um, there are two people that I'd like to see him go against. Many separate occasions. Per, per. One would clearly be his final match that he had in New Japan was against Hiroshi Tanahashi. Uh, basically, just to see if he could avenge his loss at the at Wrestle Kingdom, I think Wrestle Kingdom. If I remember correctly, it was Wrestle Kingdom fourteen. Was his last match in um in uh New Japan, and he always said that he wa- he always wanted to go back or have one more match with Tanahashi to prove that he's the real deal. That he go- that he always felt like he was better than than Tanahashi. Even though he lost the title, but that was because you know obviously he was going to AEW. Um, the other one would be against Okada. I'd love, I'd love to see, I'd love to see him relive the the four series of matches that they had. You know, Okada won the first three. Kenny Omega won the fourth once to become the the IWGP champion. And I just think that, you know, anytime those two guys get together, it's always a banger. Mm-hmm. It's always a banger match. I mean, if you have ever seen, if you have ever seen or have never seen it in this case, their bout from Wrestle Kingdom 12, if I remember correctly, uh, Kenny Omega versus Okada for the, for the IWGP championship. Mm-hmm. Wow. What a match. What a match. Like, that is... That is a match for the ages. Like, you got to see that. Great, great, great series of matches. Like, any any one of those two, like, that that match is going to be, you know, how Dave Meltzer would say, six stars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. I like that. I like that. You know, you know, recently I've been trying to get into New Japan wrestling. And after and I and I and I've only watched maybe um, a Wrestle Kingdom. I've only watched two of them. 
and that is mm-hmm. that is exciting, man. I, I that that type of wrestling is so fast paced. I enjoy that. Like and the moves, oh my god. So yeah, I enjoy it, and it's, yeah, especially when you're talking about Kenny Omega in there. Oh man. Yeah, I want to yeah, see, yeah. see a series of Canadian destroyers where it's just roll <laughs> through, followed by another one, followed by another one in rapid yeah. succession. <laughs> Canadian stories in Canada. Yeah, but you do, you do it out in the east. <laughs> do it. Here we go. Okay, so there we are. That's our uh, that's our fantasy booking. Well, we have. Hey, our... hey, 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 hey! I told you we we're gonna do impact. Oh, I'll do I'm it real sorry. Quick. I'll do it real quick. Okay, I'll go do for it. Real quick. All right, your 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 impact knockouts world champion Jordan Grace. Keeps the championship, but I want to see her defended against Mickey James at the final Bound for Glory. Why? Because Mickey James was not in the Queen of the Mountain match specifically; she was the enforcer. So, okay, there you go. That's your match, and most importantly, most important, new Impact World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, Heath. 